right, hello everybody. It is Monday, and that means it's time for some. Uh, bleh, bleh. That means it's time for some more uh, ogre battle goodness. We've got Diz along with us. Greetings, folks. And uh, yeah, last time we didn't do any real fighting. We just explored a bunch of the places that we've cleared and uh, looked around for stuff. And that had both some good effects and some unexpected effects. Also good. Uh, well, and and we wasted some money too, but oh well. What we ended up what ended up happening was we ended up finding the tablet of Yaru. This. Which apparently is something that you need to start looking for the Zodiac Stones. And then we managed to find three Zodiac Stones. Amethyst, Peridot, and Sapphire. So, we also managed to find the, the elusive final Chaos Gate leading to the ruined city here. Which, if I'm right, the name of this island should actually be... Hold on. Let me look at my notes. Uh, should be Shigold, and we should be finding the Sky Knight Fogel here, is the way that this is supposed to go. Um, I've checked all of my character levels, and assuming that these enemies are not particularly super weak like some of the ones we've been fighting, we're going to be using a team that consists of level 19 and 20 characters for the most part. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. That should be enough. Oh, nine. So hopefully we'll have plenty of uh, actual fights to do this time as opposed to dashing through it as before. Mm -hmm. Scene 26, the Dragon Rider. So this is a big floating island map. Um, nothing hidden off in the corners, it looks like. So we're going to need some flying units. We've got town and temple here. Town, town. Another town. If they do throw any land units at us, at us they're going to have to take a really long, annoying pathway. Basically, they're going to have to take this bridge. So I'm going to expect that most of these enemies are going to be flying types. But what we can do is we can grab, we can first start by deploying some of our appropriately leveled ground units. So I'm thinking maybe um, Leon. Who's expensive but underleveled? Um, we can send her over here. I'm pretty sure she can take a city, but we'll check. Otherwise, we'll have to send someone else. Mm -hmm. Stay paused for the moment. Oh, her alignment's too low. Ooh, her friends' alignments are too low as well. So she's gonna have to, like, maybe stand, like, right here. And we're gonna have to figure out somebody else to go take those cities. Of the units that I have that are fairly low level, Max Unit has pretty decent um, alignment, so we can deploy Mac. And. Have Mac take the city. Seems good to me. And if I check, if I check the MC, our unit has one one character with low charisma and alignment, which is a little irritating. Might be able to fix that. We've got, um, Hino's unit. And if we deploy Hino's unit but don't move them, we can do something that 
I've never actually played around with here in this game. And that's exchange characters between units. Of course, before I do that, I better check to make sure that I know who does what. Probably we'll pull the cherubim. Change power. And then... That makes the MC's unit capable of taking cities again without worrying about losing reputation on that. And, uh... Yeah. Now Hino's unit can just guard the main base. And I can send MC out to go take some cities. And now I think we're moving properly. city of Bujunbala. Oh, a judgment card. Nice. That's alignment up, I think. No, HP max. Oh, that's even better. Oh, we have one already, though. This is not the only Sky Island attacked by the Empire. Several Knights went from here to Organa. All of the High Knights have been taken in by Rashidi's magic. I'm alright with that. We can deal with it. Let's see. As you can see, that one little pixel of my uh, reputation went back up, so I'm within four points at the top again, which is nice. Very nice indeed. We gotta make sure that we don't let the main character's team get into too many fights here, assuming the enemies are relatively low level, which I think they're gonna be. But we'll see. Uh huh. How's our income looking so far? Not great. Suffer city of Mulanza. Huh? Oh. Reputation up two points. Okay, that tops us out again. We are split into northern and southern sections. A disaster split the island. Okay, good to know. Here comes their first set of flying units. Oh, they're level 20, 21. So they're appropriate for my fighters to fight. I'm gonna get lands up there. And I'm gonna have the main character retreat. So he doesn't get into the fight. Yeah, I don't want to lose the reputation and the uh, charisma from fighting under level dudes. It can be very dangerous. Another group of wyverns. A group of... or a samurai with a couple of cockatrices. Yeah, this is gonna be a rough fight. But if we can do some damage, we should be alright. Kali Shinpi. Oh, nice. Intelligence for this unit's characters. Oh, found the merchant toad. We've heard about him before in one of the earlier maps. Uh huh. Came up here to get away from the war. Have heard of the Dragon's Jewel? Dragon's Jewel, huh? I have not.
bring that to him. Okay. Oh, they're beelining for my main character. Paladin out of the back if we're not fighting undead. Ooh, missed with the banish. That's rare. We're way over leveled for them, so kind of this is expected. And I'm hoping Lanza's unit does well here, because if he doesn't, he's gonna get, he's gonna fall off the edge. That's not a good start. No, it is not. Crap. <laughs> we'll throw Temperance out. Yep. It's a bit of a waste, but. that time, which is nice. It is. the unit, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. This unit is heading for Hino over here. Hopefully he does alright. That's a bad start. Yep. Garçon out. Need to write that down. 
Let's see. Got oh, you can buy dowsers here. Nazarin helping you out a bit. <laughs> yep. Here we go. Move you Still back haven't here. forgot how you made Nazarin into an absolute killing machine in the last Prince of Toho. Yep. There's that. And I think we're gonna. Let's just casual five times damage. Right. On a low, on a low probability, but still pretty, uh, pretty effective. Garcon's average level is 20.25, so he won't lose any uh, charisma fighting these guys. usual thing. But we'll take it. Yeah, exactly, right? Mm. Oof, look at our funding. 106,000 goth. We need to get ourselves out of the red and fast. Gets Garcon's average level to 21, <laughs> which means I need to pull them out soon. <sighs> That's funny. These guys are tenacious, but we're gonna wipe them out, I guess. They keep throwing their friggin' pumpkin. Yeah. He's the one most vulnerable to it, probably, so... It's alright, once this unit is toast, we'll uh, be able to have them rest in the city and get their points back. And that meteor should yep. do it, yeah. Now I want to check this wizard. Yeah, he's got max charisma and alignment, so he can't... He can't class change upward.
Ooh. A cleric or a monk with a bunch of eagle men. This will be an interesting fight. This is going to be a stalemate of a fight for a long time. Acid is doing a good job. Yeah. Oh, surprisingly, surprisingly effective we were on that. That's uh, better than I expected to do. I expected that fight to go on and on and on for a long time. Yeah. Calm down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. Hello, DJ Bacon Blade. So we've got a Dragon Master and two red, two evolved red dragons against Leon DJ with DJ Bacon Blade, <laughs> a Tiamat and a evolved red dragon, and hopefully we win these fights. It's gonna uh -huh. be close. We're level twenty, they're level twenty-ish. So this is gonna be really close. Out. Oof, that acid coming out first. Oh, and then the monk goes down. is already too strong. Switch him out with Hino, I think. Because I think he's losing charisma and stuff. Yeah, his charisma's way down. And his alignment, too. In. I could use well, some yeah. ninja luck at this point. Multiple dragoners. This is going to be very close. Can I do something? No, that's not going to be a good idea. That's a bad idea, too. I don't know, we're just gonna have to see. This is gonna be really rough, because she's probably gonna get knocked off uh, by one of these teams. Liberated Mupan. Oh, come on! were playing on top of the Empire. Many of the Empire's troops were in Shigal to the north. Fogel has been charmed by Rashid. Yeah, much like the other three, other two High Knights, so... Alright, 
let's see how we do here. This is gonna be really close. This one purely by luck. Take those. I hope I hope we can keep that up. Those dragoners. Here's a third unit. Two gold dragons. And we've got. Oh, this is gonna be a weird fight. Well, we'll see. They won. That probably kicks her out, too. Boop. No, 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 no. Thank you. She, it didn't kill her. She's right on the freaking edge. Yeah. That's Ow. nuts. Okay, now we can have Lanza's unit fight. Jeez. Like a pixel. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that was pretty close to a miracle. <laughs> yeah, Lord Croft Dangloff thing though is just exactly right. be so lucky because they're further off. Go. 
gotta win this one. Yeah, I can try throwing out an Emperor card. That Evil Dead from the back is a real monster of an attack. I mean, that's what they're there for, for emergencies. This is pretty close to an emergency. This is the time to use a card. Dragons are... They're kind of basic. Yep. They're not bad units, but they, they do look a little funky and... Uh... Wow, 52. Ow. It's alright, she's alive. Salamanders, but don't tend to use dragons. Yeah, they're they're niche. They're they're a niche unit. You know, if you have dragon masters, they're kind of good for that, and that's about it. I know nothing but get the vague basics. This is Ogre Battle. It's a classic old Super Nintendo strategy game. And it was super far ahead of its time. Um, it was. Really fun game. Really nuanced and detailed gameplay. Um, this is... But, like, at the same time, it's like a... Like a 300-hour time investment to play through it. And there's, like, 12 endings. So, like... <laughs> something ridiculous yeah. like that. And this is just the Super Nintendo version, there are others. Yeah. Well, they made a PlayStation version, there was a Saturn version that only came out in Japan. There was a... I think that's, I think that's it for this, for this particular game. Which ending is the most chaotic? That's the one where you, uh, where you take the throne and you kill the prince, I think. I don't know. Worms and Wyverns are really good. So, you know, it's okay to use those and be, to have that be the closest you get to dragons. I think that's perfectly alright. Love the music of this game so much. Yeah, they had a really great composer. Ogre Battle as a series just has good music. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
is you. Yeah, so, I mean, this game was so ahead of its time that it basically hasn't been copied much up until, like, fairly, fairly recently. Symphony of War is one of the current games that is kind of like this. Um, although, Symphony of War has kind of a helping of uh, Fire Emblem in there, too. And, um... Unicorn Strategy, I think, or... I think it's called Unicorn Strategy, is, is another game that just recently came out that's kind of aping off the gameplay of this. Unicorn Overlord, thank you. Yep. That's interesting. That's not a Dragon Master. What is that? She's green. You see that? Yeah. We're gonna check out what her class is. I mean, it's understandable to drop it to start playing a game like this and then realize, like, this is gonna be a huge, massive time investment, and maybe I should stop. <laughs> like, I totally don't blame anybody for having that reaction to these games sometimes. What are you? You're a Dragon Master. Apparently there's a level up, there's a, there's a class up for Dragon Masters. Or for Dragoners. That's weird because... Because they said that the Dragon Stone turned people into a Dragon Master, but I guess they were being a little vague about it. Yes, so. Weird. Calm down, game. I don't think that was reason because used to such long time to me as the Persona series. Eh, that's that's a good point. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's one of those games that has a lot of... A lot of investment needed. Like, like mental investment. Whereas you can kind of pick up and drop Persona a lot more easily. I don't know. Maybe maybe the game didn't agree with you. That's also possible. Because it, yeah. is, it is a very niche kind of, kind of game, you know? Okay, this is going to be rough. We're going to hit the three... No, four... No, three. Three AoEs. And if we survive the three AoEs, we should win the fight. Hello with the butler. Alright, that's AoE number three. That's all the damage they're gonna get to do. Because that doesn't count. <laughs> but we're also missing a lot, too. Unfortunate. There we go. Yeah, they want to shoot. Dragon. Just barely saved again. They won by stupid. And to, to be fair, I haven't actually played Unicorn Overlord, so I don't know if they... if it's actually as balanced as this game is, so... You know, it might be that you just... that you've that you got a kind of whiff of some balance issues or something. I've played Symphony of War. I haven't played Unicorn Overlord yet. Because I don't have a PS5, and... I think it's available electronically on PS4, but... Like, if it had been available physically on PS4, I probably would have pre-ordered it. That's what I've heard. I've heard it's got some charming characters and some fun stuff going on, and I, I hope to be able to get into it at some point. I just haven't had a chance yet, unfortunately. Here comes Firewall. Jeez. We level, but they win. And they're uh -oh. headless. Oh, and she's dropped. No, she's not. She jumped ac Did you see that? She jumped across to the yeah. other side. Oh my god! <laughs> the, the luck! Oh my goodness. 
They, they are beyond lucky. Yeah, that's oh. crazy. Okay, we gotta... Oh. <laughs> How are they this lucky? I don't know. I the enemies are just tearing their hair out. Just They're like, like <laughs> what? We've won the fight what, what? four times on this two super tiny island, and every time they come right back to us. Also, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move them up a little bit so that they're not technically on the city. Yeah. I'm hoping that I can kind of get them into a place where if they win fights against these, um, against these groups that they can, um, dang it, come on, you gotta hit. Yeesh. Ah! Okay, there we go. Come dang on. Dang it! Come on! Dang it. <laughs> they win again. <laughs> the unit stays alive. It's so silly. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. It's not the button I pressed. Now it's the button I pressed. Misses today, I swear. I know. It's playing a risky game, that. Extremely, yeah. Reason, there's just these ridiculous miss numbers on my side. It's really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Paid this group too much. Well, if they finally fall off the edge and get uh, nuked, then uh... nope, they're still up. <laughs> Tenacious in the most crazy way. Prevent them from taking that city. I was hoping that having the Dragoner with them would, like, make it a pretty good unit, but it's just not doing much. something, just not enough. It's very much being a disappointment, yeah. It's doing the thing I don't want it to do. Disappointing me. Yep. Well, at least you won this one. Yeah, just barely. Ooh. Placements coming. Probably after the the noontime ding. This game is that the bad guys get these characters and they seem to be really powerful. The bad guy uses dragons and they're amazing. The bad guy uses witches and they're amazing. The bad guy uses cockatrices and they're amazing. And yet when I get my hands on these units, they just miss, 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 miss. Yeah. The answer is simple. Is that? That's a 
Hans' unit, right? You got the creamy grab and I got the runs. That's possibly true, yeah. Their HP is low, too. Yeah, but they still get the same number of attacks. Oof. Yeah. We headless them. Dang it. Yep. 28. That should be the last attack to hit the Dragoner. That one got bumped. That one's just a fairy, so... This is the this is the episode that I guess you could say it's just the miss episode. Targeting is is not random. There are um, come on. There are four different strategies you can use, and uh, then you have like ranged versus melee attacks. So the knight and the dragon will always attack something closer to them than something further than them. The, the wizard can attack at, at range. And if they have a choice, what choice they choose is chosen by which one of these I select. So, for instance, my wizard is, is going to always target the thing with the most hit points. Okay, one down before they get any attacks off. Two down. The reason I'm using the strong strategy is because it gives me a better chance of not taking out the leader. And the problem with taking out the leader of is that they turn into that little skull and crossbones icon and they run back to base and they just get re they just get healed back there. And so if you don't yep. actually fully take out the units, they will come back to fight you over and over and over again. But if you That's completely what he stuck. Yeah, if you completely annihilate them, then they won't come back. Although, although they may have like two or three similar or identical units uh, to throw at you uh, in each map. So this is exactly why you said I headless them. Dang it! Yeah, exactly. Now they're gonna now they're gonna run away, lick their wounds, whatever, and then they're gonna come back and be a nuisance later. Right. So if you 
could take out just the units, but not the head unit, then you can take them all out in one fell swoop. Yep. Yeah, it's useful for grinding, but this game penalizes grinding very heavily. Yeah. So I've noticed with the fall of your charisma. Yeah, right? And you're like, no, I need that. <laughs> Charisma gets me good things. Well, like, it does and doesn't. Like, I want the wizard to have... Or no, well, charisma and alignment often move with each other. And so if you yeah. have a character that you want to... Um, get Turn this wizard into a mage, for instance, then you really need to get his alignment down without getting his charisma down, which is a pain in the rear end. Yep. The other penalty from grinding is that uh, if you take too long on a map, you lose reputation. Yep. Charisma is worthless once you've gotten to the gold class. That's true. But my wizard is not the gold class. <laughs> it's on the list of things to do, we could say. Yeah. Oof. I hope that they try for another fight. Yeah. Oh, they fell. Oh, yep. You're referring to Lanz. That's true. Lanz is probably up there already, but uh, but he's also losing a alignment by doing that. Which I was using him to get cities before, and now I can't. Which is a bit of an annoyance. Okay, it looks like we got a bit of a. Do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Oh, no, wait. I want to throw that Dragon Master into the water while wrapped in granite bricks. <laughs> I don't, they'll, they'll, they'll grab onto the edge. You can't. <laughs> yeah, they'll just bounce to the nearest island. They'll, they'll, they'll leap across a, a you know, chasm when we're 10,000 feet in the sky. <laughs> oh, Lord. Dang, that's harsh. <laughs> Break the genie of a code. <laughs> <laughs> And that's when we learned that talking about breaking the Geneva Code was against the TOS, when the stream suddenly vanished. <laughs> but apparently the stream didn't vanish, therefore Twitch is in favor of breaking the Geneva Code. <laughs> Which was on my side. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> so this is just a dragoner. This is not a dragon master. This is just a dragoner. Hopefully we can win this fight. Kevin he owes me money. Okay, we can win this one. 
Can good. we kick them off? Can we kick them off by going a little further north? We shall see. We're gonna try it. It was really close. It's it's all about damage numbers. Yep. Which means that sometimes you can be like really close and not not know for sure. And uh, tarot card damage doesn't count towards that number as well, so you gotta be like, it's gotta actually be the unit doing the lifting, with the exception yeah. of the emperor card. Yep. Part of why emperor cards are so freaking valuable. Yep. Because they can turn even a pretty far off loss to a pretty big win. And this is gonna go poorly, because we're gonna end up taking out these two uh, wyverns, worms, probably. And then the poor mage is just gonna fall from the sky. Yep. Or we're just gonna miss them over and over again. That's also a possibility. Yeah. Paladin is just like, I can't hit anything. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Lord, the misses today or something else. Now let's see if we can make them fall off the edge. Now they're missing. Yeah. See how they like it. Right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, part of the game is that missing is pretty common. And so, just, you know, because missing is pretty common, that allows evenly matched units to have wins and losses. Um, yep. You can have really lucky moments like this, and really unlucky moments like I was having 10 minutes ago. Yep. Nope, not knocked off yet. Kino fights. It also is worth noting that cleric healing doesn't count towards your damage number. Into That's... the sea with the. No, oh, he's he's dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes some more misguided samurai. Kill here. Yeah, it worked out. Yep. Just barely. But we didn't have to knock them off of the edge. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not... Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is an undead ring. Yeah. Wow. That's a really good drop. That is. So what was good we didn't knock them into the water. Yeah, we have two undead rings now. Jeez. So we can make two Lap, liches. Lap. Oh my gosh. The power. Feel it coursing through your veins. Yeah, maybe Warren and Sardin. <laughs> oh no! My precious power ring gone forever! S so, Summons we just through. gotta... We just gotta drop. It's the undead ring. It's an extremely rare item that allows you to class change a 
a sorcerer into a lich. And the lich is the strongest um, spellcaster in the game, basically. Yep. I kind of feel bad turning Warren into an undead creature, but I guess we're going to do that. <laughs> you, Warren, die for me. Basically, yes. Yep. Some kind of phylactery. I'm not sure what yep. kind, but yes, their soul will go into a phylactery of some sort. Some kind. But he, but he's willing. Like this is voluntary, so you know it's not technically evil. <laughs> yeah. He, he he must be sitting there like, oh, he, yay! You you found an undead ring. Great. Oh, and I'm I'm <laughs> next in line. Oh, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the petrify, annoying. Yeah. It, it... Fortunately, the wizard isn't that much of a damage dealer as, like, a mage or a... or a mm -hmm. dollmaster. Or, in this case, a stone. Well, the... I mean, once they turn into a stone, then... then, then all bets are off, but, like... Like, it's a question yep. of... it's a question of how much they're gonna reduce my damage dealing capabilities for the rest of the fight. So, like, the earlier Petrify works, the worse it is. And if it hits a cleric, then okay, okay we're not going to build a heal. Well, the funny thing yep. about convincing him to kill himself is that I think I already may have done that with the, <laughs> with, the, with the undead staff. I'm not sure. The game's not clear about that. Off. Show me, show me them fall. Watch them fall. Yes. Bye this bye. Is, this is the positioning for that unit. Heck yeah. Even if you don't know Orbit Battle that well, these are pretty. These are pretty self-explanatory things going on. No, they, 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 they seem that way, but like at the same time, the game has a lot of nuance to it that is under the surface. Yeah. Everyone misses but the cockatrice with the petrify. Even he misses once. Yep. Somehow the heal misses. Yes. <laughs> So if I select the undead ring, and I go over here, first off I want to try it on a Tiamat. So you can turn Tiamats into zombie dragons too with, with the undead ring, and I'll probably do one of each. Or maybe I'll just make two zombie dragons. He might do that so you pay him more. His salary is decided by his level and his class, so you know, that would, well, that would happen as well. Well, if you make one, one or more zombie dragons, you can start playing Demon's Crest and just fight the beginning boss. Yeah. That's on the Super Nintendo, same era. No, I mean, I, I have a, I have the cartridge sitting two feet away from me. Like, it's one of the games I'm probably going to play after this one. Oh, Demon's Crest? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's yeah, a great I little Metroidvania. Oh yeah, it is. Especially when you're going up against the Capcom Hard Final. Yep. The headbutting mini game gives me nightmares. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> okay, they won that time. Weird. Well, yeah. It. But we headless them, so. Not a bad headless, but of course, just weird. There we go. In the black. 
now we can deploy another unit. And what we'll probably do is we'll deploy... Saradin. And we're going to send Saradin up here. And now that he's deployed, we're going to turn that, in, that Tiamat into a zombie dragon. Just for fun. Make a lich, I assume. I don't know. Wanna beach? I'm not in a hurry. I don't know, I'm, I'm going for one of the good endings, so. Yep. I feel bad about taking one of the main story characters and turning him into a lich. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, Warren's the guy who starts the whole thing out. He's the one that gives you the the tarot cards early on, and like, you know, are you a good guy or a bad guy or a, kind of a medium guy? And he's the one that starts the whole thing, and it's like, be a lich now. I don't, I don't want to be a lich. I have other things to do later in the story. I have to appear in Tactics Ogre! And you're just like, no, be a lich. <laughs> <laughs> Paladin is just... Kino, you gotta hit him, dude. This is a fairly easy unit to take out. Okay, so... No, they're all Raven Men. I'm thinking about the wizard unit that was flying. I guess the wizard has to be riding on, like, one of the cockatrices or something? Because like, he can't fly. second heal in the fight, it means that they're not doing any damage, so I'm not that worried about it. Yep. Are we... No. No, we're doing fine. Dragon. It's the dragon missing and only having two attacks per fight. That's the problem. Yeah. That's why we're gonna end up headlessing this unit. Now we can hit him. Goes that lone raven man. This is where we switch Garcon in. Oh, you're a Tiamat. 
you know what? I am gonna make a second zombie dragon. Because that'll really bump up this unit's capabilities. Yeah. And I don't it's have to, a zombie. And I don't have to turn any good characters into liches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure Warren is not a lich in uh, in Ch Tactics Ogre, so, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> gotta, gotta maintain that continuity. Oh, yeah. Throw acid at the zombie dragon. Go nuts. He is not. them off, I think? Boop! Gone. Yep. yep. Two zombie dragons, heck yeah. It'll make these units a little bit more, uh, tough. Yep. Which will come in handy a lot of the time. Oh, and this is perfect. We'll swap Garcon in to fight those guys. Actually, push north of Garcon's unit because it's a flying unit. Oh, no, pumpkin misses. Though that's a lot of healing. is just within it. But then again, yep. evil men have really high dodge, so... At least for physical attacks.
turn that wizard into a paladin with his charisma and alignment. Annoying. <laughs> There we go. They're just wailing on him, poor guy. Can't even hit the darn monk. Yep. Yeah, we're just very slowly, very, very slowly, chipping away at their hit points. Yep. Man, I hope that second spell hits. Awesome. Nice. Radicated. Found a charisma. Oh, handy. Finally hit something. Yeah. And then immediately gets healed. There we go. That cracks the code. Now it'll be a lot easier to peck away at them. Yeah. Well, you know, it'll also reduce their damage dealing capabilities, which means that it's less likely that they'll be able to uh, to win a fight. Thank you. 
yeah, you're already pecking away at them a lot better. Yeah, you can sometimes, like, very carefully use special strategies. Like, the way I switched to, to weak, then back to strong. I switched to weak just to give my one character, Wizard, the target of that one guy who had only a few hit points left, in the idea that maybe he'll take him out. And it worked. And so, he did. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta play around with things and get timing right that way. Because now what we can do is we can do weak again. And we can take out that other guy in the front. Yep. And the pumpkin's gonna miss anyway. <laughs> The other thing that's going to happen soon is um, that the uh, it's going to become night, and this team is going to be a lot better at dealing damage at night, and the other team is going to get a lot worse at dealing damage at night. Back to strong. Major with wyverns. Got this one. Yeah, they get one more healing plus, but they're only um, holding off the inevitable. Pretty much. The advantage of them being a flying unit is that they're, they're probably not going to retreat to heal. That's another interesting thing about these strategy games is that while you have to be really careful about like keeping yourself alive, the uh, your opponents, they get to run off on crazy suicide missions all the time. It's very irritating. Pretty much. Be gone, yeesh. Another one down. Hey, 
Hey, finally a hit on an Eagle Man. Yep. One more down. And the amount of attrition going on here. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. We got this group again. Finally won the attrition. I know, it took forever. Found a beast. A beast? Well, a beast egg. We have a couple of those already. They're not usually that incredible. Unfortunately. Misses. The Ainuki barely does any damage. I don't care if you petrify him now, he already cast his spell. <laughs> victory. Counters with a meteor. Pumpkin comes down and hits, surprisingly. And Fireball finishes the job. Okay, we've almost got this map taken care of, I think. song. We're still gonna out-damage them. It seems like a waste, but Petrify reduces evade as well, and it still does damage if it hits, even if it hits them when they're already stoned out. Yeah. So it's a it's not a it's not a bad tactic. It's not it's not ideal, but it's not terrible. Yeah. Hmm. 
yet it still missed. Yep. I'm kind of alright with that. Anytime Petrify misses, I'm happy. Yeah. Because I don't have any cockatrices in my rotation. Way to go with that three damage there. Okay, he killed himself. That's not what I expected to happen there, but okay. Yep. use a heal potion on that poor pumpkin. That's a good start. It is. Missile is really effective on the zombie dragon, unfortunately, because it's a. I think it's holy element. Yeah. time we won the fight, even though they had those AoEs. Yeah. Now, the fairies can fly, so unfortunately that's not a dead unit, but... But, if Garçon can head north, we can head them off on their way back. Yep. somebody that has like 12 hit points. I'm helping. Yep. Yeah, you are pumpkin. My... Good pumpkin. 14 hit points and everything.
That would be really cool. A pumpkin unit that can, uh, like, decide when when the pumpkin attack is likely to do too little damage and, like, does some kind of other attack instead. Mm. That would be awesome. Unfortunately, it will never happen. Both missed the pumpkin. That's nice. Extremely rare, but nice, nice when it happens. Yeah. See, I swapped a week there so that he didn't, so that the wizard didn't kill the leader. Now the leader's less likely to retreat. Yep. Nighttime damage for the devil is uh, much higher than daytime damage. Unfortunately, the day-night cycle does not appear to affect healing de healing numbers. If the cleric was fighting, then the cleric would uh, do a lot less damage, but uh, apparently healing is time of day uh, agnostic.
So now I'm going to use a special tactic. Now you might say, why did I do that? You'll see in a second. Mm -hmm. Actually, we won't. Eh, strong as fine. It lets the pumpkin do more damage. So, they cannot get back to base. <laughs> yep. I won't let them. No, you do not get to heal. to do that. You can either set up some skirmishers and have them be flying around in, you know, between the front rakes and the and your defensive line, or you can get up close to the enemy base and kick them away from it with victories, basically. Both of those tra tactics allow you to take the leader out of a, of a unit and still beat it before it gets back to the enemy base. Although this one was a little bit close. Carefully move him a little bit away again. Oh, and while we're here, it's going to be the Sky Knight. Uh, what's his name? His name is Fogel, and he's got the Tiamat with him. fortune cards. Oh well, we'll be fine. I kind of really like how the spell is called Evil Dead. It just makes me think of Bruce Campbell and good movies. Yeah. I don't know if that was a reference, or or if it was just pure dumb luck. Uh... But it is a joyous thing. Truly. Who's missing now? Are moving people up to uh, start taking cities. Yep. I think we've got this one now. And we can deploy someone like. I don't know, maybe Jeans Unit? Yeah, Jeans Unit's still inexpensive. Go take some towns. Mm. 
because we may have finished off all their all their dudes. Oh, not quite. There's a mage unit. Oh, it's that mage with the fairies again. That's all right. They'll they'll die. Yep. Probably. can do. Nah, that's too broken. Now that's surprising that their light attacks are doing that much damage still. There's our Petrify. It misses, of course. Oh, we're gonna miss- we're gonna lose this fight, actually. Probably. Yeah. I actually expected to lose that fight because they had so many uh, AoEs. But apparently not. I don't know if the Dragoner is going to go for uh, Sauron's team or not, but now we can Headless units and not worry about them going to get restored. Yep. Loop around with the flying unit, cut them off, and be done with it. Oh wow! He hit a fairy with the pumpkin attack. That's uncommon. Totally expecting the, the fairies to just dodge everything we threw at them except for the magic spell. But the pumpkin did his job. Liberated Al Shabi? Yeah, Agile. I figured that was what you meant. Pull a card. Magician! Heck yeah. Fogel, the High Knight who lives here, looks like a dragon. He's kind of frightening at first, but he's actually quite kind. A bit blunt, though. Third AOE, which is fine by me. Dang, that was brutal.
Oh, hold on, game. Calm down, game. We can put Hino's unit away. Save us some cash. Oh, I didn't heal him. Shoot. Oh, crap. Uh, but I have Emperor's cards. <laughs> yep. That seems costly, but a heal all is 2,000, the same as a Joker, so. You know, if yep. I throw enough Jokers at the problem, eventually I'll get another Empress card. I know that calculation doesn't actually work. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> off the map. Boop. <laughs> and that might actually be it. There's the headless unit, but I don't really care about that. Sun's group is going to make short work of them. There we go. Alright, we've almost got this map cleared. City of Macald. Hermit card? Heck yeah. The fall of Shigold was a result of one warrior. Skilled but arrogant. Even a knight of Shigold was a child compared to him. He was the world's strongest warrior. He fell into the black arts because he was looking for more stronger opponents. He came because he heard that the dragon of all dragons, Bythoth, Bythoth lived here. Dragon of all dragons. He fought for seven days and seven nights and won, but none rejoiced in the dragon's death. They were afraid of its curse. Shigold began to crumble with the dragon's last breath, and it changed the warrior into the shape of a dragon. The gods forced the warrior to stay here after that. Interesting. Okay, let's do some exploring now. Save this, go uh, liberate this temple. Hmm. Liberate the shrine city of Dalu Saram. Ooh, a world card. Totally useless at the end of a, of, a, of a mission, but okay. We've been waiting for you. Please save Shingle. Token of our appreciation. Take the dragon's jewel. Well, there's the dragon's jewel. Which you can go and sell. But is that what I want to do with it? Yeah. Shall uh... see. I have to go back and look and see at what, what they said about about Toad the Merchant. 
Yeah. But I guess if he came up here to, to avoid the, the war and isn't profiting off of the war, maybe he's a good guy. I don't know. The other thing I'm going to do right before the, the uh, noontime bell is I'm going to dinner bell her or him. That'll save us some extra cash. We'll explore for a day or two. Look for stuff. There we go. Garçon do a flyover. Liberty to the temple. Oh, wow, good. Strength for all units because we got that world card earlier. Yep. Honor to the rebel forces. I got an alignment. Nice. City. Yep. And he's flying over it, thank goodness, so he's not going to try to take it, but uh, we'll check over here too. Jean can liberate cities without hurting my reputation. There's an Empress card. We'll toss the Magician card. There are many dragons living in the mountains around Shigold. If you don't have dragons, pick them up there. I, I have too many dragons. Temple? I'll have them take the temple then. Wow, a lot of hidden stuff in this level. Hidden towns, specifically. Star card. Yeah. Yes! There are four weapons in this world made by the gods of the winds. Four weapons made by gods of winds. Lightning Sword Notos. East, East Wind. Flamax Bolius. Uh, south. Black Magic Sword of the West. Zapylos. Zep. Paiulos West Ice Sword Euros North 
Interesting, we already have Notos and Zeros, I'm pretty sure. Almost got this mission. Let's clean up, th clean things up, and finish the job. We'll get a little bit more money from the towns as well, which would be very nice. Yeah. Buried treasure. Find out. Thumbs up. An elder um, pendant. Interesting. Okay, now we're going over to this side, little island. I can't believe there's nothing on this island. There's gotta be something. Eh, maybe there's nothing, but we'll see. We'll see. character. Probably a dragon. Yep. Join us. What, what did you level up for? You didn't do anything. <laughs> uh -huh. huh. I never knew that you gained experience from recruiting characters. That's really strange, but kind of neat. Yeah. Handy because it gives you a way to like level up characters that are like way behind if you need to. You can go to an empty zone and just recruit a bunch of neutrals. Ah, oh, there's really nothing on this little island. But you gain one experience whenever you battle, regardless of outcome. Oh, okay. Interesting. So it's not a good way to actually gain experience for lower characters. Good to know. Uh huh. Yeah, not really. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Good to know, though. They gave me a hit point. Okay. There. Just need to probably give it one more day of searching and get a little bit more cash.
Maybe something over here. Liberated the magician city of Lowens. Take a card. Moon card. Or, no. Somewhere in the world is the heroic symbol of the fire crest. Not the Fire Emblem. The item is supposed to have powers even as great as the Zodiac Stones. Many warriors look for it and find as the glory gives, but we're not going to tell you where to find it. Gee, thanks. Do for Garcon, we'll put him away. Power ring, nice. We can't fall off.
There we go. We got some of our cash back. Yep. Now let's finish the level. Met with the enemy. You dare to turn against Rashidi. You dare to bring your ward of the peace of the Sky Islands. Die. He seems a little angrier than the other ones were. And we go to a leader concentrated tactic. Petrify is going to miss, of course. Whoa. That's a good one. Dragon's not doing any damage. Phantom hits again. Yeah, Petrify's just not gonna do anything. We'll retreat. We just need a regular heal and maybe a cure. Sardin's the only one that took damage. <laughs> yep. like crazy. There we go. Boom. What happened? Rashidi, he... So you've broken the spell. To thank you, I will fight alongside you until the Empire is destroyed. I have to repay Rashidi for what he has done, and he revels without, de without deserved help. Let us show Rashidi what true power is. Liberation of Shigult. Next battle, we enter the Highlands. Yeah. Although, we'll probably do a little bit of uh, um, checking around uh, for Zodiac Stones and stuff that I've missed in places that I haven't visited. So, yeah. There we go. Yep. Next up is... City of Xanadu. And well, we'll do some we'll we'll start out next week doing a little bit of checking around, see if we can find some extra zodiac stones, and uh, then we'll head to Xanadu. So yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for listening. Thanks for chatting, everybody. Always good to have people along. Thanks for hanging around, Diz. Yeah, of course. And uh, let's see, Wednesday we'll be playing Okay, so when last Wednesday I played Xenonauts. And it went poorly, because the game was glitching out on me. But, it turns out that there was a community patch and a bunch of mods for that game that make it not buggy. So we're going to try that again on Wednesday, only hopefully without glitching it out. Yeah. Uh, on Friday, MechWarrior 5. And then over on the YouTube channel on Thursday, we've got Dungeon Siege 2. So, uh, you know, if any of that sounds good, feel free to drop on by. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good week. And I'll see you all later. Take care.